In this video, you will learn how to use March Network's command client. Upon opening the software, you'll be prompted to log in. From here, you will see a variety of different folders along the left-hand side, each representing a different location. And underneath are any personal shortcuts that you have saved. Housed inside each of these folders are different cameras for each location. Scroll down and you can either double click or click and drag into this area to then view that camera. In order to view more than one camera at a time, go up here, click the down arrow, and then hit View. This opens up a new tab where there are now currently four empty cells. Click and drag the different cameras into each cell. They can be from different locations as well. If you would like to change the grid size, go up here to the top right, click grid size, and then you have a variety of different options, including 1x2, 2x3, 3x4, and so forth. It is also always recommended to go up here and change the resolution to high. Something that should be noted is that for a few of these drop downs, you will not be able to see it on my screen. However, I will be discussing each drop down and showing the location of all of them, so this will not be an issue. Next, we will use a feature of the command client that allows us to view past transactions. In order to use this feature, go up to the top left, click Main Menu, and then hit Searchlight. This menu will come up. Click on Transaction Reports. Within the Transaction Reports, we can choose the time period and filter for different reports. If you click the Calendar button, you can choose a different time period. I'll choose the past seven days. Click the down arrow on the reports, and a large drop down menu will show up. In this instance, I will choose Voided Transactions as our filter. Click this button to search. And now you can see, in the past seven days, all the different transactions that have been voided at all locations. This gives us a lot of different information to work with, such as the transaction start and end time, as well as the operator number and name, and so forth. The filters are very powerful as well. When I click the drop down menu, you will not be able to see it but all you do is click the arrow and you will see dozens of different filters that you can choose from, such as voided transactions, cash transactions, discounts, coupons, and so forth. Click on a transaction to view both the receipt on the left-hand side and the video of the transaction on the right-hand side. If you would like to export one of these transactions, click on the transaction and then click here, export this video. Select OK and you will be brought to this screen. Up here you can change the case name. You can write any sort of notes along with the case. When you are ready to export, go up to the top right and click export to file. Here you will have another chance to rename the file if needed. Choose the proper destination that you would like the file to go to and hit export. Down at the bottom you will see the status. It may take longer than this depending on the size of the video clip being exported. And just like that the export is successful. When you go into your files and open up the exported video, this is what you can expect to see. A receipt, and then when you click the drop down arrow, you have the video on the left and the receipt on the right, as well as a thumbnail. This concludes the video. 
Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact me at brianwords24 at gmail.com.